Hello and uh, welcome again to one of my little tutorials on uh, little quick shortcuts on Painter. Not really going to go into painting, of course. I'm sorry to disappoint. Um, okay, in um, Painter 11 and, and uh, Painter 10, oftentimes people complain to me the most about the ability to see layers on the canvas. I'm going to go do this in Painter 10 because I there's a CPU bug in Painter 11 that won't let me do what I'm going to show here. Um, the biggest problem with uh, the layers is that they don't work like Photoshop, so oftentimes people get confused and they're wondering how the heck to do something that they can easily do in Photoshop. Well, one of the things is, is that as people have mentioned that they have a hard time seeing the layers palette. And there's one of two ways to correct this issue, one of which is to drag the layers palette out like so, and then you can drag it like this if you want to have more windows or layers open to view. The other way is that in Painter 10 and 11, I know works in this case, is to go to the bottom of it and drag it down, and you'll be able to have more, more layers this way visible. If you hit Control shift n you'll see it does exactly that. And then of course if you change the thumbnails you can go medium, you can go large, um, small. Usually okay for me, I'm not really that big on them. Um, then of course if you're done with all the layers you just drop off. Uh, one of the things that a lot of people also get confused with with Painter is that if they have like a nice piece of line art that they're working on, in Photoshop you can easily just, you know, drag it to a copy. Uh, Painter doesn't have that function, so there's two workarounds for this. If we painted this cute little thing here, we'll just... Wow, it's so furry. Um, you can either do a lift canvas to watercolor layer and it'll show up here and then immediately your canvas is blank. If I turn it off you'll see it's gone. The problem with this though is that you can no longer touch your line art unless you're using a watercolor tool and that's kind of annoying because I often make adjustments with such line art. Now if I go back, go back to the canvas. The second way of course is just using, you know, your copy and paste shortcuts. So if you hit Control A, Control C, Control Shift V, it will paste into a new layer your line art. And then if you hit Control A again and backspace, it'll kill that one and you'll have the same result. Now, you would also do a layer adjustment. If you change it to gel, you now have a nice little transparent smiley face. There's also other little tricks down here with uh, layer adjustments. You can uh, do little various here where you would group in the combined layers and here you can add effects that most I don't really use that much. This one is also adding a new layer here as you can see and then you can drop. Group. which if you hit the shift key and did this you can hit group and it will group them together if you collapse it becomes one layer if you drop it you can delete it so or it will group to the canvas layer This one is adding a new watercolor layer, and this one is adding a new ink layer. Uh, don't usually add too many watercolor layers, to be honest with you, unless I'm doing simple traditional stuff like toning a canvas. And most people don't really do that unless they're really the, the traditional painters that... Um,